Hi, all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, the lucky mermaid, psychic seer, and modern mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for this new moon in Pisces, February 2023, psychic crystal reading for each of the four elements earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. You may want to watch the entire video because this new moon is not just going to affect your sun sign only. Your rising sign and your moon sign are also being affected by these energies. So you may want to watch the entire video because remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign are going to resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. And if you would like to get my special video series I just recently recorded for Saturn in Pisces, Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings, that link is down below in the description box in the Show More section, or you can go to my website at theluckymermaid.com and go to the videos page, and you can click on whatever zodiac sign you want, your sun sign, your rising sign, or your moon sign, and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. Remember, these predictions, Saturn lasts in a sign for two, two and a half, or up to three years. So these predictions are covering over a two-year-plus period from March of 2023 through the end of May of 2025. So I hope you'll decide to check them out. So all that being said, now on to your psychic crystal reading for this new moon in Pisces, February 2023. And I'm starting with the element of Earth. This is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I feel that the Earth signs are going to get motivated in some way to make some changes over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. You may even feel like some of you or signs may feel like you want to hide something or keep something secret from someone or, you know, or maybe in a protective way. Uh, it could be secrets. It could be things of value, but like keeping secrets and wanting to hide something away comes up for the earth signs. You may also feel very fed up with people trying to discourage you and rain on your parade, and it may cause you to want to bust out of a situation you don't like, or you could speak up and stand up for yourself, but it could cause you to, you know, want to leave a job or, you know, go off on three days for, uh, you know, to get away from people. I don't know. It's going to affect you all differently, but, um, I feel like you're going to, some of you will be kind of fed up with people and kind of have a emotional and maybe verbal and physical reaction to it. Some of you earth signs may feel like everything's in a topsy-turvy, tumbling kind of situation, like situations that normally run smoothly may be in disarray. It, it may... You know, it's kind of a weird thing to say, but you may even feel like it's like the Mercury retrograde kind of feeling. Uh, there could be misunderstandings, miscommunications, things could that would normally run smoothly, uh, could go awry, schedules could get disrupted, that kind of energy. I feel that some of you will have the blessing of getting invited over the next two weeks and up to 30 days to attend some kind of gathering and this will be a blessing for you in some way you could have a great time or network or meet somebody uh, new or just you know, like I said you could just be having a good time over the next two weeks and up to 30 days 
you could also be talking to somebody like networking or talking to somebody in a high up leadership role or position. It could even be in the government and you communicate with this higher up person, person of authority, and it's going to help you. You may, it may get you further in your career. It may get you uh, something that's important or valuable to you. Your creative energies could be really high earth signs and you may start to really hone in on some kind of skill or craft uh, or perfecting some kind of skills or, you know, abilities that you have while this new moon is in Pisces. Be careful of the weather because I'm hearing weathered and beaten down. So if you have to drive somewhere far or you're planning to go hiking or camping, um, you could feel beaten down by weather. Weather could be an issue for you. It could be even if you're at home. Uh, or in your property, uh, but especially if you have to go out in the elements, that's a caution for some of you. And somebody said the last time, like, oh, to so many cautions. I give cautions. I give three cautions at the end of each element. So I'm not singling you out. I'm going to give you three cautions for the earth signs, the water signs, the fire signs, and the air signs. It's also, I got to warn you, you could build something up in your mind and it could, you could be very much let down or it could be you're trying to structural, structurally build something up and it could be not structurally sound and could fall down. So it could be literally, it could be figuratively. So it's good not to have like overinflated expectations of uh, in that w regard over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. Your final of the three cautions is you may be putting somebody under some kind of duress or pressure or really scrutinizing somebody that could be making them feel uncomfortable um, and it may not be necessary because it's coming up as a caution. So if you feel like you're really putting somebody under a microscope or micromanaging them or putting a lot of pressure on somebody, it's maybe not the most productive thing to do because it's coming up as a caution. So I feel like you may come to regret that if that's what you're doing during the next two weeks and up to 30 days. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of water, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Some of you water signs may find that over the next two weeks and up to 30 days, you could make great strides and headway economically speaking, financially and economically speaking. Some of you water signs are going to have a long list of things to do, chores or just to-do lists. Like I see you making a long list of things to do that you're going to feel motivated to uh, address and tackle over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. Some of you water signs are graduating from something and moving up to the next level. It could be in a training program. It could be an online class. It could be some uh, class that you're studying in, in, in person. It could be a webinar, seminar. You could be graduating up uh, if you're taking martial arts or any kind of spiritual training or any kind of schooling, training, or education. Like graduating and moving up to the next level comes up here for you over the next two weeks and up to 30 days for the water signs. Some of you water signs may be putting some people out to pasture. That's the way my guides worded it. And you could be ushering in new friendships, new uh, social groups. You could join new social groups. You could be meeting new friends and you could be letting go of some 
people that you don't click with, you don't resonate with them anymore. You could be letting them go. If some of you Pisces that are going for a job interview, you could get hired immediately over the next two weeks to 30 days. Some of you, if you're working, water signs will feel find that you're adjusting to new and changing circumstances at the place where you work, but it will be a benefit to you. It won't be a negative. And remember, sometimes, sometimes things that seem like a negative in the beginning turn out to be a blessing later on. So even if you're like, that didn't work out to feel good to me or be in my benefit, later on you may find that it is a blessing to you. Some of you water signs are going to find that you want to engage in retail therapy or just are feeling highly motivated for shopping. And if you do over the next two weeks to 30 days, I feel like you're going to get really great deals and bargains. You know, some of you water signs need to uh, be aware that you could be over exaggerating things like problems, uh, over exaggerating hardships and slights by other people. Your emotions could be over exaggerated. You could be telling stories and you're over exaggerating. These are the, th so be cautious in whatever way that that could apply in your life of over exaggeration. It comes up as a caution. And as I said in the fire signs, somebody did say to me, Oh, there is a lot of cautions. I always give three cautions for every sign, every time I do a full moon and new moon reading. So I'm not picking on any, any element. You, uh, water signs may also need to be very cautious about getting a lot of rest over the next two weeks and up to 30 days because you have Attend, you may find that you have a tendency to be excessively tired and drained, and it would be very, very beneficial for you when you're resting to put your feet up. Also, water signs need to be careful of the words they use because somebody could take something you're saying, even if you feel like it's constructive criticism or... Uh, you know, like a necessary thing to say, somebody could take what you're saying or doing as bullying um, or being too, you know, outspoken with them. And uh, so be careful of that over the next two weeks to 30 days. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of fire. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Some of you fire signs may have meetings, uh, important meetings or briefings or discussions or looking into your finances over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. Some of you fire signs may find that you're interested in dabbling into new hobbies. Some of you fire signs may find that this time period, you're going to spring something on somebody. It could be like a proposal of marriage. It could be, um, or springing some other kind of news comes up for the fire signs over the course of the next two weeks and up to 30 days. You may find fire signs that over the next two weeks and up to 30 days, you're linking together with like-minded people. This could be at some like club, group, organization, some kind of event, could even be online, could be a webinar, uh, it could be some online class, it could be a literal class, uh, it could be some kind of group that gets developed, could even be a church or something else. 
uh, that you're linking up with like-minded people. And it could be very strongly connected to spirituality or religion for some of you or some kind of hobby that you're interested in. You have to watch out fire signs because you could be very blunt with somebody over the next two weeks to 30 days and they may not like it. You also may want to slow things down because things could happen very, very fast for you and it could actually make your head spin. Some of you need to be cautious. You may come off as very picky. Uh, finicky and pickiness comes up here for some of you. So those are the cautions. Some of you will find that somebody that you helped out in the past, it benefits you now. They could come back and give you a leg up or help you in some way. Some of you fire signs may find over the next two weeks to 30 days that you are feeling better and you may be looking better. You could have changed something about your appearance, like especially hair color, hairstyle, but it could even be wardrobe or, you know, um, cosmetic surgery or something. But I get you looking better and feeling better over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. Some of you will be retraining your mind, re-educating yourself in something or relearning something or learning something that ends up being highly beneficial to you, either mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or physically. And just know this, things you're doing and saying, fire signs, are very likely to catch the attention of people. So if you deal with the public, uh, if you deal with the public in any way, or, uh, you know, like if you have an online presence, or it could even just be in any club group or organization you belong to, or somehow out in the world, People are really going to be noticing you and paying attention to you uh, more strongly while this energy of this new moon in Pisces is affecting you. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the element of air. This is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. This new moon in Pisces for February 2023 is going to motivate the air signs to change. Now, it could be change your appearance, but it could be other things in life that would equate change. Some of you air signs are going to be like, I got to get things down to the boiling point, like, uh, or bullet points, bullet point, boiling point, like, What's important? What, what matters? Like, what are the most important things I need to focus on and take care of may strongly be a theme and come up for you now while the new moon in Pisces energy is affecting you for the next two weeks and up to 30 days. You could find yourself speaking out again, out against something or speaking out about something uh, and you're just being inspired to do that, or you could be asked to give a speech, a eulogy, a toast, speak at a function, uh, or do teach some kind of class or master class. Something of that nature could come up for you, air signs, over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. Some of you air signs are going to find that you're going to feel extra kind to people and you may even want to forgive some people that maybe you didn't think you were ever going to forgive uh, or have had a hard time forgiving could come up for some of you now. Many of you air signs are going to have conversations of lasting importance over the next two weeks to 30 days. And that could be with anybody. It could be with uh, doctors, lawyers. It could be with 
uh, bosses, it could be with family members, love partners, but having conversations of lasting importance comes up for you air signs over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. And it's actually a blessing, not something negative. You also, some of you air signs will uh, generate a lot of goodwill and you're going to have an expansive camaraderie of spirit that you would be able to rally people together. So if you're in a union, you could rally people together. Or, you know, uh, if you're at some kind of gathering or at church or some spiritual group or something on the internet, uh, you could really uh, bring people together, a strong sense of camaraderie, generosity of spirit. Uh, but bringing people together it comes up through your words, through your teaching, instruction, through your words, what you're sharing. Some of you air signs could have a new romance, a new romance that starts or a new romantic partner could show up over the next two weeks and up to 30 days. Some of you air signs need to be cautious that you may be inspired to overdo things. That could be overeating, overspending, uh, overworking your body through exercise. Like overdoing it in some way comes up for the air signs as one of their cautions. Be careful you don't do anything in like a deceitful or secretive manner because it could get found out. Uh, or get noticed, recognized, found out, and it could come back to uh, bite you in the butt. Uh, another caution for the air signs is things could feel very overwhelming to you emotionally over the next two weeks to over uh, and up to 30 days. So be gentle with yourself. Don't um, just keep this in mind. This too shall pass. So if you feel over emotional about things um, and really sad or it's a passing phase, don't let it consume you. I feel that the air signs need to know that they could actually make great strides socially over the next two weeks and up to 30 days from the energies of this new moon in Pisces. February 19th or 20th, depending on where you live, um, February 2023. So I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of my special video series that I record for my Vimeo on-demand videos, where I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools, my most recently recorded video series links are posted down below in the description box in the show more section, or you can go to my website at theluckymermaid.com videos page and there you will see all the different video series I've recorded, how many, uh, you know, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for, and you just pick whichever series you're interested in and click on the zodiac sign links underneath and that link, whatever you pick, will take you to that video on Vimeo. So I'll just briefly go over a few of the video series links I have down below. As I said at the start of the video, I recently recorded my Saturn in Pisces psychic tarot and crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. This covers a time period from March of March of 2023 until the end of May of 2025. So over a two-year period, those predictions and messages. You know, Saturn was in Aquarius, it left Aquarius, now it's in Pisces. You might want to see how that's going to affect you. And I highly recommend, if you can do so, to get your sun sign and your rising sign because the combination of the two 
will give you a much more clear and complete picture of what's going to come for you over those two year plus time period. Also, my psychic crystal readings for the month of February 2023 are available also, and I go over uh, all areas, love, work, business, finance, health, family, what's a caution, what's the energy going to feel like to you. If you've never checked out the psychic crystal readings, they really give you a big, uh, a lot of information is covered in that condensed video. So you might want to check them out for February of 2023. That link is down below and also on my website at theluckymermaid.com. Uh, also, my New Year's readings, if you haven't checked them out yet, there's two video series there. The uh, Psychic Tarot readings for 2023 for each sign of the Zodiac. There's 16 cards in total, you know, for the new year. Uh, if you haven't checked them out yet, lots of predictions and messages. Those videos were over 40 minutes long, 16 cards over 40 minutes. The, uh, my big love readings for 2023 for singles and cu singles and couples, I get, that is the most requested video series I do. And I'm not saying it sells the best. It does in the long run. It sells the, it sells very well. But people seem to get that all year long. It's not like the big push, like at the beginning of the year with the New Year's readings, but it's the most requested video series I record. So if you want to see what's going on in the area of love and romance for you in 2023, the first half of the video will cover all the messages and predictions for the single people of your sign. The second half of the video covers all the messages and predictions for the coupled people in your sign. But I highly recommend watching the entire video in the love and romance videos because some things are going to cross over from the couples to the singles and the singles to the couples. And in those video series, I recommend getting both your rising sign and your sun sign. Um, also, don't forget the eclipse effects from the solar eclipse in Scorpio. October 25th, 2022, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card Reading. You're still being affected by that solar eclipse in Scorpio. You're, those effects are going to go on. And those predictions went all the way out, many of them all to June and July So in my reading. So you may want to check them out. And also my eclipse effects from the full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, November 8th, 2022, also psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. I use the same format for both of those eclipse readings. You are also still being affected by that full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus. Again, those predictions in those videos went out all the way until the June and July of 2023. So you might want to check that out. There's other video links down below. You can see what I have available. Don't forget, if you would like to donate to my channel and help support the work I do here with my readings on YouTube, you could make a donation by clicking on the link down below in the description box. It's connected to PayPal. Thank you so much to those of you who have been very kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does really mean a lot to me, and it also helps me a lot. Helps me to keep this channel going. That's what the Vimeo videos do. If people weren't buying the Vimeo videos and if I didn't get donations, the money that is, I think people misunderstand about the ads that run that uh, YouTube puts on the videos when you monetize them. Unless you have like a million subscribers, you don't make that much off of those ads. You have to have like, you know, a few hundred thousand subscribers or a million subscribers to really make money that way. So know that the Vimeo videos you purchase and the donations you make to the channel help me to keep doing these readings. If, if that doesn't happen, I can't afford to do them because they take me a lot of time and energy and I could fill the time by doing more private readings. So I really appreciate it when you do buy my Vimeo videos and when you do make donations. It does truly mean a lot and it does truly help a lot. So thank you 
for that. And if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that are cha you know channeled through me that you won't see here in a video on YouTube, you can follow me on my social media pages at theluckymermaid.com. Uh, I'm sorry, at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. And also on my Pamela Georgell YouTube community page. I'm posting, uh, usually it's five paragraphs long of written predictions by pulling tarot cards, oracle cards, and occasionally the crystal. Many people find these messages and predictions resonate with them or parts of it resonate with them. And you may also as well. So I'd love to see you on my social media pages. I do communicate with people on those pages. So thank you so very much for that. I'd love to see you over there. So I hope you have absolutely awesome energy that comes to you from this new moon in Pisces, February 19th or 20th, depending on where you live, of February 2023. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.